Paul Douglas Peters may not look like a violent criminal, but the middle-aged investment banker is accused of strapping a fake bomb around the neck of an Australian teenager in an extortion plot that authorities have only started to spell out. After he was arrested at the home of his ex-wife, he appeared before a federal magistrate who ordered him to be jailed pending an extradition hearing next month. Mr. Peters is an attorney and an investment banker in Australia. Do you know Do you know any detail about who, beyond that, who he is and have you talked to him? And I, I, I know, yeah, I have talked to him and, and I've talked to his ex-wife. According to the arrest complaint, the victim, Madeline Pulver, was studying for exams when Peters entered her home and locked a box around her neck along with a note demanding money and providing an email address. The complaint says Peters once worked for a company with ties to the victim's family. The teen's father is a software executive. And the complaint says Peters flew from Sydney to Chicago on August 8th, then from Chicago to Kentucky the next day. Yes, An Australian reporter who did not give his name says the case has People riveted the this country. A, oh, this has been huge. It's been the lead story on every news bulletin. It's been the front page of every newspaper. When it happened, the entire country was watching this. They couldn't take their eyes off television, off Twitter. Peters' attorney says he will contest the charges in Australia, but he didn't know whether his client will fight extradition. After his court appearance... Peters was asked if he had anything to say to Madeline Pulver, and he said, quote, I hope she is well. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.